What is up, YouTube? Sorry, I have been MIA for a few days. I have been crazy busy trying to wrap things up at work, but it is now Thursday, May 18th, and we are two days out. I am off work today and tomorrow to prep and get ready for the show, and I am going to document everything for you. I don't know how I'm going to break up these videos, but um, I'm going to try to get as much documentation of everything I go through these next few days because they're really going to be prepping and getting ready for the show. And then tomorrow I have my polygraph test, tomorrow I have my tan, tomorrow I go to the hotel and start getting everything to all come together. But today I'm going to get my hair done. I'm getting my wig trimmed because yes, I'm wearing a wig on stage because I want to feel a little more sassy with long hair. And I'm going to meal prep, pack. I've got a full body workout to do in 20 minutes of cardio, and I'm going to take you guys with me through it all. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. What is up guys? In a new little scenery in my bedroom. So you can see I've got all my ish, or most of it, laid out on my bed, and I thought I would kind of go over what I am packing. I've been watching so many YouTube videos too to kind of get an idea of what I will need show day. So I have most of it laid out here. Some of the stuff um, I'm going to get a little bit later or it's already down by my car. So I'm going to wait to put it in um, my car for when I am packing it up. One thing that is down in my garage that I'm going to take is kind of a portable full length mirror to have backstage because I don't really know what mirrors they have. So if I need to like touch up my makeup, touch up my hair, if I want to pose, um, things like that, I will have that back there. Um, my flip flops are actually down in my garage right now because the weather in Washington is not exactly flip flop weather yet. So I am taking a pair of flip flops to wear once I get my tan on. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that's downstairs. Um, I'm going to be taking my NGA card, which is already in my wallet. I have some paperwork for my drug test that is already in my purse, all packed away. Some hand sanitizer because once you get your tan on, I have learned you cannot wash your hands so that is disgusting so gonna take hand sanitizer um i will be showing you guys my food and like how i'm packing that separately so that'll all be separate um but gonna be taking some plastic silverware some cups you know to help you go to the bathroom and not make a mess down your leg um but all that stuff i'll go through later when i'm getting all that together but this is what i am packing for show day and the weekend because I am going to be spending the weekend with my family afterwards and I'm so excited to just have a relaxed weekend. Um, just to touch on that too, um, you guys are probably wondering like, oh my gosh, what are you doing post show? Like, what's your plan? Um, I did talk to Paul. We do have another show on the radar, which is July 15th. It is an NPC show. Um, it is the Washington State Open. So I will be, I believe, eight weeks out on show day from that show. So obviously you want to keep things in check, but I am going to give myself just kind of a mental break. Um, I've been prepping for 18 weeks, been tracking everything that's been going in my mouth, been weighing everything that's been going in my mouth, um, which I am very structured, so I actually enjoy that, but it is going to be nice to um, just have a weekend to just enjoy myself. So Saturday I do have, um, which I will go over when I'm in my kitchen, a plan for my food from Paul, um, just for the food I will be eating and when I'm eating it compared to when I'm going on stage. But I do have a really supportive group of people that are coming to support me. So I am planning to go out to dinner afterwards. I am so excited. Everyone's like, what are you craving? What are you craving? And I'm like, honestly, I don't have crazy cravings at all. That is a beautiful, beautiful thing about doing prep with flexible dieting. You can cure those cravings while still reaching your prep goals. Um, and to be honest, the only thing I want is a Cobb salad with dressing on it, restaurant sweet potato fries, and a glass of wine. That is literally all I want. Maybe a froyo with untracked toppings afterwards. Um, but then, so I'm going to go out and do that, not go crazy. Um, Sunday is actually my dad's birthday. So we are going to the Seattle Mariners game. If you guys are not familiar, that is our major league baseball team here in Seattle. It is supposed to be 70 degrees. So I'm so excited. I'm sure we will go to like brunch or something for my dad's birthday. Um, so going to enjoy that. 
relax, have fun at the game. Um, and then afterwards, Jared is super busy this weekend with his baseball team. As I have said, he is a baseball coach. So not quite sure how much he is going to be around for the festivities. Um, but we do have a little date night planned on Sunday because that is one major thing I do miss um, is not really being able to go out and have date nights and just enjoy a glass of wine together. So we are going to do that Sunday night. And then Monday, Paul and I will touch base again and it'll be trudging forward to July 15th. So that is my plan, but let's get back to the task at hand, packing. So first of all, I'm going to be packing most what can fit in this rolling suitcase. You guys may be like, oh my God, you're going for two days. Why do you need a suitcase? Um, but watching YouTube videos, I have learned that that is what you want to take with you backstage because once you get your tan on, you do not want to have straps over your shoulders or anything like that that is going to cause your tan to rub off or put streaks. So I'm going to be having this. I will unpack whatever I don't need for backstage and leave it in the room, but that is what I'm going to be using backstage. So I'm also going to be using that to pack. Also for stage or show day things, I am ordered this little black silk robe to kind of just wear over my suit and protect my tan. And it's got like a little tie thing for the middle. So I'm going to have that for show day to wear once I have my suit on. I'm taking a few extra suits just in case. I have the pink one that I took progress pictures in for a while. I also have, I'll show you guys later, but the suit I ordered for the July 15th show just in case anything happens. But then I do have, you guys know I am wearing this green suit that I did get for free from one of my teammates on Team Pro Physique. But I did take it to Dream Suits by Ina, who I bought my suit for the July 15th show, and she added some more bling to it. So, I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh my gosh. So, it's just very simple. I feel like a little mermaid. Yes, I did stuff the top of my suit. Jasmine taught me her ways. Um, she actually learned it from a Lauren Conlon video. Um, it's literally just nylons with some white rice in it and then you stuff them down there and pull and pull and shape until it looks like you do have something going on up there because for some of us that cannot afford that, you need a little bit of help to kind of help with that symmetry. And of course to go with my suit, got my heels. They're gross from me posing in them and I'm sure they are just going to get nastier with my spray tan feet. But I got these off of Amazon if you guys are looking for cheap show shoes. I got them for like $35. They're a fabulous brand and they came with this nice little travel pack. So we'll be taking that. And like I mentioned before, I am wearing a wig for the show um, because I do want longer hair and extensions in my short hair. They don't blend very well. So got a wig, got it all trimmed up. Um, my girlfriend Natalie is doing my hair and then my girlfriend Riley is doing my makeup. She has done stage makeup for a long time and has actually done lots of com competitors makeup already. So I'm excited. So they're going to be taking care of me in that department. And then I've got my jewelry from Bling Competition. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Sorry, the glare is like terrible. But it's in this nice little travel pack. I did kind of unbox it in some previous videos, but it's just some earrings, some bracelets, and some rings. And then for backstage too, I do have this pump up band. Sorry, the glare is terrible. It's just a little medium resistance. So I will be doing that before I go on stage. Got my exfoliating scrub that I will start doing. I've been exfoliating um, all week, but I will do this tonight and again tomorrow before my tan. Um, I need to get dial soap because I did get a list from Liquid, I think it's Liquid Sunkiss that's doing our tan. Um, and they want us using dial soap and I have not been using that yet. So I'm gonna get that tonight and exfoliate again. And then got to shave everything and get all prepared for that. So I have nothing left on my skin that can mess up my tan. So again, I'm packing some razors too, just in case. And then also for backstage, I think I mentioned this, I got some disposable. Wow, that this glare is like terrible. Disposable toothbrushes. So when I'm eating between um, the stage and I'm doing three classes, three classes. Three classes, so I'm going to be going on and off stage, so I'm going to want this to kind of um, clean up my teeth, especially because I have braces. Um, also got some mints just to have to keep my breath on point. 
And then I've got my lashes for my makeup. Um, I have one that's not as dramatic and then one that's really dramatic, so we'll see which one Riley wants to use. This brand is Kiss, which I really like. Um, it's the same brand that I use for my nails. This one is what I use for like every day if I'm using them, and it's by Allure. Oh my gosh. Sorry for the glare. I'm just going to stay back here. Got them both from Target. And then I've also got my trusty nails by Kiss as well. Going to be putting on a set tonight or tomorrow. And then I'm taking an extra set just in case some fall off. Um, random. Got some Mother's Day cards for my mom and my grandma. They are coming. And I did not get to see them on Mother's Day, so got that checked off my list. Um, just got some toiletry stuff too. Some face wipes um, to wash off the makeup that night. Um, and then some bobby pins and hair ties just in case Natalie needs those. And then got some hairspray and dry shampoo because I do think I'm going to wear my hair to the side just so it does not cover my back. And I haven't got a lot of practice like brushing the wig to the side. Because the wig is so thick it's really hard to just like get it all in one swoop and be uh, smooth about it. And not like trying to get my fingers stuck in the wig. So I'm going to take this and really dirty up the wig so it stays. Got some other toiletries just to get ready. Um, shampoo, conditioner in case I need it. Hair dryer, gonna be taking my straightener and my makeup too just to get ready. Um, other things I am bringing because your tan is so nasty and your hotel will charge you if you get it on anything. I'm taking my own face towel, my own shower towel, my own sheets and pillowcases and then I'm also going to be taking this blanket to sleep with just to wrap myself up so I'm sure that I don't get it on anything. And then I'm also going to use this for backstage because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of downtime and sitting. And I'm always cold. So I'm going to take this backstage as well. So I've got all that. And then another thing I'm going to be taking backstage too just to keep me warm. These I literally got, I know they're white inside, so the tan is probably going to destroy them, but I literally got them for $3 from Target, so I'm not really worried about it. I'm going to take those in case my feet are cold. Um, and then I'm supposed to have a microwave and a fridge in my hotel room. I called before and I had to request it, so if you are traveling or have to stay in a hotel for your show, make sure you call in advance to make sure that your fridge and microwave are going to be there. But I actually got this when I went to California, and the hotel basically was like, no, we don't give microwaves. I'm like, okay, cool, thanks. This is just a portable, like, hot pad. So I'll take this and I'll take a pan and a spatula just in case. They, because they were like, by request. And I'm sure a lot, it's a bodybuilding show. We're all staying at the same hotel. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of requests for microwaves and fridges. So taking this just as a backup, just in case. Um, some other things I am taking post-show cute outfit gotta look cute for your little celebrations i got this from target if you guys couldn't tell i love target it's a little off the shoulder just romper it's supposed to be like 65 70 tomorrow in seattle so or saturday so i'm really hoping i don't freeze but sometimes beauty is pain right i'm just gonna take that some few necklaces to go with it I'm wearing these wedges and then I am taking some stuff for Sunday, which is just got to represent my Mariners. Got my Mariners hat, because hats are life. Got my Mariners old school jersey, Cano. I'm going to be wearing that. And I just am taking some extra clothes just in case as well. And then for my tan, I got... Some really loose fitting, got these for $5 at Target, sweats, they're so comfortable, I wore them last night. So got those to wear once I get my tan on. Taking another pair of black sweats just in case. Also going to be taking this black maxi because just in case I go do something after I have my tan on and I don't want to like scrub it up um, in my sweats, I'm taking this just plain black maxi. To have so it's very loose it's black so if the tan gets on it it's not going to be that noticeable taking lots and lots of black t-shirts and tank tops just to have on hand 
Also taking this to wear with my sweats because you don't want to be pulling anything like over and pulling your arms because that is going to smear your tan. So this is just a very loose like Hanes black zip up sweatshirt. Um, taking some clothes for cardio, just some sweats and shorts and tank tops because Paul does want me to do just 15 minutes of very light cardio Saturday morning because my digestion is, you guys know, not the greatest. So he just wants to get things like flowing. Um, and then Sunday morning, depending on how I feel, I may do the same. Um, so taking some cardio shoes, some cardio clothes, sports bras, and things to sleep in. And I'm going to be taking my iPad and charger and phone charger and my laptop so I can work a little bit and charger just to keep myself busy um, backstage. But that is the majority of what I'm taking as far as anything that is not food related. <laughs> Um, so thought I'd just walk you guys through that. If you have any questions, let me know down below. If I think of anything else that I'm going to be taking, I'll definitely let you know. But I think this about covers it. So I'm going to pack this all up and then I need to go um, get my workout in, which I am going to record for you guys. Um, and then I got to stop by the store for a few things to finish with meal prep. And then I'll check in with you guys later. See you guys in the next clip. All right guys, got most of my packing done and just finished my pre-workout meal. I don't know what tastes better. I was so happy that I switched my breakfast and my lunch today and I made like an egg white omelet for breakfast and then saved my oats and egg whites and peanut butter mixture for pre-workout. I was so proud of my past self for doing that. So got my pre-workout I've got my amped one and three grams of creatine in here I've got my trimmer bottle some track of my water very diligently I've got my heels we're gonna head to the gym but before I go to the gym I'm gonna let my pre-workout digest a little bit I'm going to stop by the grocery store I need to pick up banana which I haven't had in so long I'm so excited spinach asparagus I think some hot sauce and there might be one or two other things to get for show day so I can finish prepping all my food when I get home which I'm going to show you guys and I'm also going to show you guys my workout so I'll check in with you guys at the gym.
from the gym, another workout down, and one more to go. I'm gonna go back in the morning, bust out my final cardio session and my final circuit. But for now, I'm meal prepping. First, I'm starting with all of my show day stuff, and then I'll prep the stuff that I need for tomorrow because I am heading down to Seattle at about one o'clock tomorrow because I have my polygraph test and my tan and I'm meeting my mom and she's gonna be my little stage mom tomorrow and I'm so excited so I'll have her to film all that stuff but I wanted to show you guys how I'm kind of setting up stuff to prep it. Um, so I'm gonna show you the plan that Paul sent me which is subject to change depending on how I look on show day but this is what he wanted to have prepared and he suggested on prepping double each meal just in case because you never know what changes and time frame show day is gonna bring. So let's take a look. So this is what he sent me. So he gives me the time before stage, the protein, carb, and fat that he wants me eating for each meal. And he kind of gives me an outline as far as like water too because you wanna be careful about how much water you're drinking on show day. So I know I'm gonna be going on stage between 12 and one, so I will eat my first meal at six, then I will eat my next meal at eight, and then my next meal at 10, and then I have this extra meal just in case. So four ounces of chicken, banana, and 14 salted almonds, four ounces of chicken, 100 grams white potato, and then four ounces of deli turkey, and two rice cakes, any flavor. I am bringing a variety, so we will see what I feel like, and then half a tablespoon of peanut butter with these two meals, and then, oh my God, sirloin steak. So I'm bringing that just as an extra meal, and I, again, am prepping double of both of these. Um, I'll probably bag up one of each and then just bring the extra that of the food that I have prepped. And I'm gonna start my day on Saturday with just a little bit of 15 minutes of light cardio to get my digestion moving because you guys know I have a little bit of problems in that department and gonna have a serving of BCAAs with that but other than that this is what I'm prepping so I will show you guys how I do that all right so before I start prepping everything I thought I would show you guys kind of what I've got laid out here so here is my deli turkey and then I've got Jared was so kind and prepped Oh my goodness, that steak for me. All of this is plain, so he just grilled it up, no seasonings. And then I cooked my chicken in the crock pot and shredded it up this morning just with some water. So I've got those all ready. And then all the rice cake variety, white cheddar, caramel corn, and then just plain. We'll see how I am feeling. Then I have got I made the mistake and bought some bananas away earlier in the week and they're looking a little sad. So, we got some new ones, a little green, a little happier, but I'm gonna take all of them just in case. And then I've got all the fats, so I'm gonna take almond butter, the salted almonds, and then my favorite whipped peanut butter. Just see which one Paul would rather have because this one is a little bit higher in fat than this. Then I have stevia. Um, this is just the liquid stevia because I can have coffee tomorrow, so I'll be sweetening my coffee with this. But no cashew milk tomorrow. I've got my cups. These ones we already had from past parties, so just gonna use that. Got some plastic silverware. And then rice, this is not to eat. This is just in case the stuffing we made. Again, I learned from Lauren Conlin breaks or I need more got that and then I have got little baggies here that I'm gonna bag up the food in these and then just label them which meals they are because these take up less room in my Fitmark bag and then I've already got my vitamins and everything I need there and then last but not least got all the potatoes boiling here so I'm just gonna let them cool and then I will drain them and then I'm just gonna mash them up and that'll be everything I need for show day. All right, YouTube, I think we are all set. I actually changed my mind. So I'm gonna take one of these Tupperwares that's empty and use that for my meal containers. And then I am just going to take these big, so I have extra of all of this, these big containers. So I've got my chicken, 
my potatoes, so many potatoes. Steak, all portion, not portion, but all Tupperware out. And then I've got my meals for tomorrow because I don't know which meals I'll be eating on the road, but I did put these ones in baggies. So I've got my spinach for my salads, my cucumbers and avocado, more avocado, some ground turkey, some cucumber, some chicken, and some asparagus. So got those all portioned out for tomorrow. I've got this for um, tomorrow night. It's just like a little batter for a protein mug cake right before I go to bed. And then I've got my turkey breast. So that stuff is all set. And then I'm taking these condiments because I'm still tracking my sodium. So I've got mustard, some taco sauce, and then I've got my rice. And then in this bag, got my cups. I already cut out the bottoms. And my silverware, stevia, bananas. I'm gonna take, for Sunday, I'm gonna take some oatmeal and protein for the morning just in case we don't go to breakfast. I'm gonna take some protein bars, or a protein bar just to have, because I don't really know what the schedule's gonna be like and I don't wanna be eating out every single meal so if I can avoid that I will um, and then I've got all let's see if I can turn all my rice cakes and almonds peanut butter and then I also have these in case I need like easy carbs literally all there is in these are carbs guys yes it's baby food but all it is is carbs so these are great um, and then I'm just gonna pack everything in my car tomorrow morning and I think I'm set and ready to go. So I'm gonna eat my dinner, and then I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm going to exfoliate one more time, make sure all my everything is shaved and ready to go. And then I'm going to probably stretch and foam roll tonight so I'm nice and loose. And then maybe practice some posing, take some pictures tonight so I can compare them to tomorrow morning send them to Paul and then I'm going straight to the gym in the morning to get my full body circuit in and 20 minutes of cardio, my last workout. And I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Talk to you guys in the next clip. So I actually decided I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. I showed you guys my final workout, packing and meal prep. So I think I'm going to do a whole new vlog tomorrow and all those adventures and then do another vlog for show day. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions down below. And we are two days out, guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks again for watching. Now that we can see